Good morning, everybody. We will be starting in a couple seconds. Just giving some people uh, some time to join the breakout room. All right, good morning. Welcome to the last breakout session at uh, Milwaukee School of Languages, breakout session number four. Um, today, we're going to be listening to Ms. Vanish's students who are sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. And if you have any questions for the student at the end, please put the questions in the chat and we will ask us uh, questions of the student at the end. Also, please make sure you keep your computers muted throughout the entire presentation. Yeah. Hello, Milwaukee. We are so glad that you have joined us. We're here coming at you from MSL, where we have computer classes in uh, middle school and in high school. We have three classes, and Ashraf here has have two classes or three classes for me? Uh, two. And uh, so he's in the eighth grade computer class where we learn how to code games. <clears throat> Okay, in computer class, we finished the first section of the game design unit, images and animation in code.org. The unit taught us how to create and modify images, also known as sprites. Okay, Christian, who was supposed to be here, but wasn't, this is his project. He made two sprites with, um, there's one on the right, one on the left. One is a wizard who's on a cloud. He's using a random number generator to make it go make both the cloud and the wizard go up and down. And he used a text block to show the text on the screen. Now, <clears throat> when I'm ahead in class, I'm allowed to, when I'm ahead in class, I'm allowed to work on my project, which is a remake of Kahoot, which isn't quite done yet. I'm using code.org to make it. Right now, I'm really pleased with the creation aspect of it. And so you press the create button, create a question. I don't know. Like... Add and then press done. On the other screen, press join. Type in the code, put a nickname, and then join. <clears throat> Then once everybody's in, you press start. And on the other screen, after it loads, it after the question loads, it'll, you'll see it. And then you can just press the button. It isn't done yet, but this is what I got so far once the question loads. See? And in the code, in the code, I have a few variables up here, one for the game ID for making a new game, one for the current game ID, which is when you're joining a game. I have a few events here for navigating the UI, like the buttons and such. And I have some events here for when the player leaves and when they join. So I also, and I also have some for the game for updating it when it starts and creating it. And I have some more UI elements here, uh, UI controls here for joining and leaving the lobby. And that's it. Thank you. We have a few questions for you. So the first question is, what has been the most challenging part about adding animation to your game? Um, this? Yeah, this was made by Christian, so I'm not really sure about that. But it was probably making the character go up and down. And oh, yeah. and we will be done leaving the session. Thank you.